Welcome back to Alien Racing. Here's the progress on the Exoset. Mocked up the seats again. Floorboards are all done and look killer. Got the tunnel all done. Drilled all the holes for the other floorboard for the passenger side and for the wiring tray. On this episode, I'll be pressing out the original bushings from the lower control arms with the press. I'll be fabbing up some gusset tacos, adding extra gussets on the corner of those two and modifying them. Modifying the upper taco to add some turn signals and a third brake light. Man, that Momo Sturmo looks sick. I'm gonna be powder coating the tunnel and that wiring tray and also the passenger floor. Let's go over the wiring tray. I didn't use the one that came with the Exo set. I wanted a deeper one from Speed Circuit. It's about two and a half inches more deeper, as you can see. Here's a view from the top side. I'm really digging the diamond plate floors. Everything's looking good so far. Well, let's get started on those bushings. I use cardboard to make a template for the taco gusset. Then I'm gonna cut the sheet metal, drill the holes, and use the dimple die and the press. I use plastic vice covers so it wouldn't mar up the metal. I'd probably recommend more like brass. It seems like the plastic kind of slips. Also after doing this uh, with the taco, if you have a press, I'd probably recommend fabbing up uh, some type of jig. I think that's what I'll do next time and just use the press. Here comes the struggle bus. starting to get there just be patient if you're going to do it this method also if you have a bigger vice i would assume it'd be a lot easier mine's only a four inch now i'll finish off the taco in the press to round the end of it so it'll sit flush on the diagonal bars After all that work, it did come out pretty good, but I would definitely recommend making a jig. Not bad for making it in a garage and having minimal hand tools. Now I have to grind down the diagonal bars, so 
like a well done both tacos. Looks good. Now it's time to weld them up. really like the area that I chose to put this third brake light. I originally was going to put it towards the bottom of the cover in the rear, just like on the STIs. I'm glad I didn't do that. I just feel like it's missing something else. So I'm going to add these turn signals from a motorcycle and put them on the sides. Now I just have to grind down the rear tacos with the grinder and the Dremel. Here's a before and after of both tacos on the back side. Now I have to drill the holes for the turn signals and open up the holes with the deburr bit. I used an LED STI style third brake light that will blink five times and then go solid. And I also am using turn signals from a motorcycle. Looks pretty clean like it was meant to be there. Now I'm gonna add this angle iron to the top gusset to give it a cleaner look. And so the lights will be flush against it. It'll also strengthen that gusset I notched the sides for the bars and also notched the middle and the outer areas for the mounting of the lights. Use the level to make sure that this thing comes out straight. Time to weld her up. These are the corner gussets that I'll be adding. I need to make them about 150 degrees for the angle. Made another template out of cardboard and cut and grind it. These things came out looking like ninja stars. 
Now it's time to weld them on. Everything came out better than I expected, especially with those lights. I didn't think they were gonna come out that good, but everything flows just right. As you can see on the side, everything sits nice and flush too. wanted to keep this pretty simple so I'm just going to use one inch plugs to seal the back to get access to those turn signals and all the wiring. Overall I'm really happy on how everything came out and I think that pretty much wraps it up. Thanks for watching and subscribe to follow the build.